Hey everybody, it's Bob Ward, and I'm working on a brand new New England's Unsolved, and it's hard to believe, but this year marks the 10th anniversary of the murder of Sean Clark. He is an American hero. He was a U.S. Marine veteran who lived in Malden. He served two tours in Iraq, and he came home only to die of gun violence in the streets of Malden. It happened 10 years ago. His case is still unsolved. What happened to Sean Clark is he was living the American dream. When he came back from the war, he wanted to open a skateboard shop. He wanted to start a whole community up in Malden. He really believed in skateboarding. He loved that sport and, and he loved to connect with other people who loved skateboarding. So he wanted to open up his own shop and he wanted to start a skateboard park in the town and uh, that was one of his big dreams. Uh, he'd just gotten married, he started a family and he wanted to settle down. So he opened up Patriot Skateboards on Main Street in Malden and it became this place exactly what he wanted it to be. It was a place for people who love skateboarding to come hang out, buy skateboards, talk skateboarding, live and breathe it and that's exactly what he wanted. On this particular day in January uh, 2013, uh, Sean wasn't even supposed to be working. Uh, one of his employees needed some time off, so he filled in. And two men uh, came into the shop just after 12.30, broad daylight. And they came in, they had their hoods up, they were masks, and they had guns. And it's believed it was uh, an armed robbery gone wrong. And Sean, being a Marine, wasn't going to have it, and he fought back and he was a tough guy and fought all the way through the store. Um, one of those men shot Sean and he died on the sidewalk out in front of his store. The two men took off and to this day there's never been an arrest. So it's been 10 years. Uh, the district attorney's office has released uh, surveillance pictures and images of the two masked men. Uh, they've refined those images, try to get some better quality images of them. It's not the greatest quality, but they're thinking that over time, somebody must recognize them. Now, I've done this story for our newscasts and for New England's Unsolved several times. Um, I've met Sean's mother, who I interviewed for this story in the 10th anniversary. I've also interviewed Sean's widow, uh, and people are just heartbroken about this case. Um, they know Sean was a real fighter, he was a real patriot in every sense of the word, and he died defending something that he loved. And people can't believe that the people who are responsible for this are still out there. So authorities are hoping and, and Sean's friends and family are hoping that you'll be able to tune in, take a good look at these images that we're going to show you, and maybe something will connect, maybe you'll seen something, heard something, you know something, and you'll be able to call police with some information. You should know that Sean's family and friends are offering a reward, a substantial reward of $60,000 for information that leads to an arrest and conviction in this case. So that's what we have coming up um, on New England Unsolved, the death of Sean Clark, a real American hero. Let's hope we can get his family some justice.